Hello, I'm Katie Watson. I'm the author of The Three Dahlias, a contemporary murder mystery with a golden age feel. It's basically my love letter to all the classic whodunits I loved when I was growing up. It's the story of three actresses from three different generations, all famous for playing the same fictional detective, Dahlia Lively. Um, we've got Rosalind King, the national treasure, who played her in the original movies in the 80s. Uh, Cara Hooper, who's famous for playing Dahlia for the last 13 years on television and ex-child star Posey Starling, fresh out of rehab, ready to star as Dahlia in the latest movie reboot. And this August bank holiday weekend, they're all gathered at the stately home of Aldermere for a Dahlia Lively fan convention. But when the fictional murders start turning into real bodies, the three Dahlias have to ask themselves, what would Dahlia do? And use their experience of playing a lady detective on screen to solve a real life murder. Since The Three Dahlias has such a strong golden age feel, I thought I would share with you some of my favourite classic crime novels. So I came here to the incredible Waterstones Piccadilly to raid their shelves. I'm going to start off with Agatha Christie, Murder at the Vicarage. I could talk about Agatha Christie all day, but since she wrote 66 full length novels plus uh, 14 short story collections, I'm figuring you don't have that kind of time. So we're going to start in with this one. Until really recently, I was always a Poirot girl. Um, and as much as I still love our Belgian detective, more and more I find myself identifying with Miss Marple. She is the yeah, fluffy looking, genteel little spinster who looks like she couldn't hurt a fly, but actually has a mind like a steel trap and is always willing to believe the worst about people. Um, I think rereading Marple's mysteries are part of what got me wanting to write about different generations of women solving crime together. The Murder at the Vicarage is the first full-length Marple mystery and it's my favourite because I love the picture of the village of St Mary Mead and all the people and the quiet way of life they have and how it's all rocked by the discovery of a body at the Vicarage. Um, it's also a particularly clever solution. My second book is The Nine Tailors by Dorothy Sayers. It's actually the ninth mystery uh, starring Lord Peter Whimsey, but it's the first one I ever read, which means it's held onto a special place in my heart. I actually remember listening to it as a book on tape from my local library as a teenager um, and being completely taken into this strange world of an English village full of church bell ringers between New Year and Easter. It's been described as, it says, is either finest to ever work or an overlong encyclopedia entry on bell ringing but um, I tend to come down on the smaller side. It is a wonderful demonstration of how she could peel away layer after layer after layer of a story to get to the mystery at the heart of it. Um, and the solution is, is, it's a classic. And you'll learn a lot about campanology at the same time, so give it a read. Written a little later than the others in 1951, The Daughter of Time by Josephine Tay deals with a crime that's a lot more historic, that of the murder of the princes in the tower. In it, Inspector Alan Grant is confined to a hospital bed and bored out of his mind when an actor's friend, knowing his belief that he could tell a person's character from their face, brings him a stack of photos of his famous historical faces to look through. He comes across one that catches his eye and when he's told it's Richard III, he just can't believe that such a face was capable of murder. And so begins an investigation from his hospital bed to try and prove the innocence of Richard III. It's a fascinating read, taking history as a whodunit. Um, and I remember I re read it for the first time when my mother gave it to me, and I discovered my copy was missing 20 pages in the middle. Um, and I was cross about that for years until I picked up another copy with the full story. But this one has all of the pages. I checked. <laughs>